Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing New Horizons came out on the same day and these games could not be any more different in nature. On one hand, you have this gritty, hyper-realistic world where you're pushed to your limits and forced to fight against the monsters of the underworld in order to survive, and on the other hand, we have Doom Eternal, which is also really good. And since they shared the same release date, I'm gonna talk about both of them at the same time. Playing these games within minutes of each other is like drinking six Red Bulls, popping four Mollies, and then heading to bed. Yet, somehow, it's magical. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a game that rewards you for taking your time. Whether it be fishing, planting, or catching bugs, this game lets you enjoy moving at your own pace. Doom Eternal is a game that will punish you for even thinking that stopping anywhere is a good idea at all. If you are still for two seconds, something will come out of left field and blow your colon right out of your body. And that's, and that's what, what makes this game, game so fun. fun. In Animal Crossing, the goal is never really present. I mean, sure, there's things to do, like pay off your loan, talk to villagers, remodel your house, but besides the frequent quest for earning bells, Animal Crossing serves as a slow and relaxing getaway from everyday life. In Doom Eternal, you play as the only badass guy left on the whole fucking planet who literally has to beat the shit out of hell. There's almost too much to do in this game, with challenges, secrets, power-ups, and just about everything you can think of peering around every corner. Doom will keep your heart racing from start to finish. You have a bunch of tools at your disposal to tackle the challenges the game throws at you. Whether it be traversing a giant chasm, climbing up dangerous heights, or just dealing with bugs, Bugs, it's, it's good, good to, to be, be well prepared. prepared. So in order to deal with the world's challenges, we have... A super shotgun with a grappling hook. Missile launcher with lock-on technology. Net. Plasma rifle with explosive blast. Shovel. Flamethrower that drops armor. Chainsaw that refills your ammo. Road. Rocket punch, super dashes, double jump. Eggs. For tree. Not creature. And, and many, many more. more! Doom moves at a breakneck pace for 20 hours, filling every nook of the universe with things to discover. Dropping you on your head and letting you learn how to survive through constant death. The failures are your tutorial, and there will be many. In Animal Crossing, the tutorial is a whole ass... real life week. Yep, a whole week. Yet somehow that didn't bother me. In Doom, you can upgrade your gear by completing challenges that will test your every wit. If you want an upgrade, you have to earn it. Money tree. Even though these games are polar opposites, I've wanted to talk about them at the same time because they prove something really cool in gaming. That two titles that are the entire yin and yang of one another can receive such high marks for being unique in their own right. Both of them get a 16 out of 17 and I recommend them both to everyone who likes breathing.